Hi, this is Lily Piper from Walsh Jesuit High School and you're watching Ohio Sportsnet. This is Taylor Simpson from Walsh Jesuit and you're watching Ohio Sportsnet. Hi, my name is Taylor Rehatch and I'm from Walsh Jesuit High School and this is Ohio Sportsnet. Come on, Dick! 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 Come on,
first pitcher had a, a nasty changeup. Okay, that doesn't They're a really good team, so it was really important for us to come out strong, uh, as we did. We scored five runs in the first inning. Really proud of them. It was our first game back in a while, so we were really excited and really ready to just come out here and finally play a game outside. How about your pitchers today? Studs. Every single one. Both of them. Um, they're relentless. Every inning, every pitch. Strong team. Very, very strong hitting team. Very solid team. Maybe they just had an off day. You never know. Each day. Different. It was really cool to just come outside and be together as a team. We've been practicing inside all week, and especially with Keystone, we know they're going to give us a tough game, and it's going to be a good one for both of us, especially confidence booster to go out. And we know that they have a good pitcher. They always had good hitting. They always reinforce, like swing hard every single time, but thankfully we have our pitchers to kind of throw them off a little bit today. I was watching her warm up, and I knew, you know, she was throwing inside, 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 so I knew I wanted to just, you know, foul it off, wait for my pitch, and go deep in the count so we can have our whole team, you know, see what she's throwing and everything. And I know I had two strikes on me, and she came kind of away with the slow pitch, and I just kind of got my battle thing. We're really blessed to have our pitching, and think, thankfully it's on fire all the time. Like, they complement each other really well. We got Maddie have the inside pitches. Taylor's got great speed, and her changeup was nasty today. It was really moving. And Maddie comes with the inside, and you know, to come from Taylor, you know, she got the junior, and then we come from our freshman. It's a good. She's a role model to Maddie. You know, it's Keystone's a tough team. If we were still in Division Two, they'd definitely be our competitors, just like they have been every year in the past. But it's good to come out and play them because we know, you know, we're not going to see each other in the playoffs. So it's good for both teams to be able to play each other. Our motto is to score first, and whenever we score first, that usually the rest of the game our attitudes are up, everything's up. I think that we were just attacking it more because we weren't like we haven't seen her before so we were attacking but now with that once we knew that what she threw we were kind of like waiting for a good pitch and you, sometimes you can't do that sometimes you gotta hit the first pitch that's thrown to you change up was definitely on today which usually it isn't but it was really good today the difference was is we're used to coming in thinking we're winning because that's how our attitude is um, and we didn't take it as competitive as what we should have um, we did come in like knowing we had to play strong, being confident. We were just a little bit overconfident, therefore a little bit lackadaisical. Um, we just got to learn how to come back from a first inning start like that defensively. All around, we just weren't all there as a team. And that's how we play. You go down as a team and you win as a team. And it just fluctuates like that. But. Um, We'll definitely come back tomorrow. I trust everyone. The pitcher did great. I'm, I'll hand it to her. She did a phenomenal job mixing speeds, mixing pitches, not throwing it over the middle of the plate. She hit her corners. I'll hand it to her. But also, as a team, we need to lay off the high ones. We can learn that just to keep our heads up throughout the game, can keep the energy up, know that pitch selection is key. Um, you know, Coach P has been preaching it all year and maybe we probably didn't take it as serious as what we should. It, this was actually a good thing. You know, it puts us back into an evil, like a level set of mind to just say, hey, you know what, we're human. We lost the game, we're human, we're all human. And so we're gonna come back tomorrow, you know, get some fire under our butts and play. I don't say it's good to lose a game, but it might end up being a good thing if, as a team, we can get over this slight road hump and move on. Just because it keeps us level-headed, it shows not only ourselves, our fans, but other people as well, that our team's all human. And, you know, we just gotta learn how to move on. Now that we learn, like, how it feels to be down, it'll push us even more because we don't want to have that same feeling after the game.